everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's Zara haul is going to be a quick one and I only ordered a few pieces. Right now Zara is kind of going through this thing where they're sending a lot of the pieces in separate packages which I've never experienced before. So I'm actually waiting on a few things still but I wanted to share these few pieces with you guys. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of the family here on YouTube. And of course, head over to my Instagram where I post daily style inspiration and you can see my feed right here. And yeah, I'd love to have you there as well. Anyways, let's head into this video and do a little Zara haul. Maybe I'm actually gonna go backwards and try the jacket on first. It's a really cute pink jacket that I ordered and it is a shorter style. I would say it's kind of like a mix between teddy and faux fur. Maybe not even faux fur, teddy and felt or something like that. But I absolutely love the color and I think it's such a great warm piece. I find these kind of pieces are always really really cozy so if you are looking for a cozy jacket that not that is not necessarily a down jacket try one of these I ordered a size medium in this just because I feel like it's like a bit boxy and it is supposed to be like that so it's definitely more of a casual style and I like the fact that it's super boxy I love that it has lapels that you can kind of flip up and I think it's super super nice it's definitely not the warmest one that I've ever tried it's nicely lined as well and the buttons are super super nice it has like these kind of like brown marbled uh, buttons right here and like I said what really drew me to this jacket was the color it's kind of like one of those like nice blush pink colors it definitely doesn't look cheap and the kind of boxy and oversized, oversized look is uh, what I like. So this jacket, definitely super nice. I don't know if it's really worth like $80. Overall, it's a maybe. Like I'm a super, I'm not really like blown away by it, but I also don't mind it. So I'm gonna have to think about it. What do you guys think? I think this color always really goes nicely with my complexion, but that's definitely not the only reason I should keep it, so. So, since there's a really, really big snake print trend, I wanted to give this one a try. I do have a snake print dress already, but uh, the one that I have is like knee length. You may have seen it in one of my previous Zara hauls. This one is a lot different. It's uh, a much thicker material and also is just above the knee. It's really cute. I do have to say though, like Zara prices for these dresses are getting like a little bit crazy. This was 59 and uh, most of the midi dresses are around 79 right now, which I think is a bit expensive. Considering that the quality is usually not the greatest. So I do really like the look of this. I think it's very, very cute. The material is nice. It's kind of like this thicker, satin material which is super nice and uh, also the coloration is kind of this grayish bluish snake print it has these big buttons gathered at the waist it's really flattering for sure so I ordered a size medium and I think this size is really good I could definitely get away with a small but I don't mind it to be just a little bit you know looser <coughs> excuse me just a little bit looser and more comfortable everywhere. I don't need it to be like super tight. So overall, very, very cute dress. So this dress right here is a striped linen dress. I uh, thought it would look a little bit more white in real life, but I guess the website didn't really show the color very nicely. The length of the dress is really nice, just below the knee, and it's also very flowy. I thought it was gonna be such a beautiful piece. One, you can wear it with a wool coat over top, like a very long wool coat, or with a sweater over top. And I actually ordered a sweater from the special prices section. I think it's always worthwhile to kind of check in that section or under that tab to see what kind of products Zara has put on special prices. 
So with this dress being $79, which I think is quite a lot for Zara, I thought you compare this with a nice wool sweater. So I picked this wool sweater right here, which is kind of this light camel color. And I've been loving this trend to just like wear a dress and a sweater over top. I think it looks very cute. Also with a crossbody bag on top. And I think this sweater actually for $29 is a really, really good price. So I'm just gonna show you guys like what it looks like with the sweater on top. You can definitely wear a belt with this as well, just to give yourself a little bit more shape. But sometimes it just looks really nice, like just loose and flowy, just depending on how you want to style this and what your preference is for a look. So this was kind of the look that I was going for. And of course, you know, you can kind of pop out the color if you want, just to show a little bit of detail as well. And if the dress had long sleeves, you could also show the sleeves on the bottom here. I think the look is really nice, definitely a preference for sure. I never used to really like this type of look, but I don't know, over the years I've kind of gotten into it, so maybe something you want to try. And uh, the sweater is a touch itchy, I do have to say that, but if you wear something underneath, then you may be able to get away with it. With this, I also ordered two hats. I have a huge hat obsession right now. I think it's the perfect accessory for any fall or winter day. Especially those ones where it's raining or snowing or where it's really windy. At least you can protect your hair and look half decent. Anybody who has long hair or hair that kind of gets frizzy when it is humid or rainy will be able to relate to that. And uh, of course these type of blogger hats or newsboy hats are so stylish. This is a tweed version right here and uh, it is black and has kind of these gold threads throughout. I think it's a really nice look and uh, the tweed is a really kind of fall and wintery material so very very nice. You instantly look put together with an accessory like that and with a hat like that. So just imagine if you have a bag that also has black and gold details so I think you can really kind of mix and match with that. The next hat is a bit of a style statement and I'm honestly not sure if this is something I'm gonna keep but I did want to order it. It is a limited edition vinyl beret. So let's try it on together and see what it actually looks like. It's uh, definitely a little bit more out there but wow I actually like it something completely different. You have to be careful uh, what you mix it and match it with, but I think if you just keep these type of natural materials to really contrast the vinyl, like kind of wool sweaters, wool jackets, maybe faux fur, things like that, that would be amazing. I definitely would not pair this with a leather jacket or leather pants. I think that would be a little bit too much leather and too much of this kind of material and it may look cheap in the end but overall I think this is quite cool. Something very different and very fashionable. I really actually don't mind it. What do you guys think? Would you wear this? You always gotta play around and try some new things so that was my new thing for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you want to shop any of these pieces, as always, I've linked all of them in the description box down below. So you can just grab the link from there. And I will see you in my next video.